Oh. Why? If going to church every Sunday makes you a Christian, <laughs> then going to McDonald's every week must make me a hamburger. <laughs> Marty, or Ron, it's true. Well, you do make a good point there. Just going to church doesn't make a person a Christian. That's true. You know, Ron, you have to invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart and ask him to forgive you of your sins. That's right, Marty. And you know, after you do that, you're supposed to grow in the Lord. Huh? Well, I don't mean we're supposed to grow physically, but we are supposed to grow spiritually. You know, I'm thinking of 2 Peter 3.18, which says we're supposed to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, what does that mean? Well, it just simply means, Marty, that we're supposed to get to know the Lord better and grow in our relationship with Him. Hey, Ron, I know of some ways we can grow in the Lord. Really? What's that? Well, uh, first of all, by going to church. That's a good idea, Marty. You know, as we mentioned a moment ago, gro going to church doesn't make you a Christian, but it's certainly important to go to church because there we learn about the Lord, and it's good to fellowship with other people who believe as we do. Can you think of some other ways that we can grow in our relationship with the Lord? Well, let's see, by uh, reading God's Word. Well, that's right, Marty. Reading the Bible is certainly an important way that we can grow in the Lord because the Bible contains a lot of important instructions on how we should live. Oh, uh, let's see, what about uh, talking to God, praying? Well, that's right, Marty. What would you think about a person who, who said that they were a good friend of yours, but then they never talked to you? I would say you wasn't really a very close friend at all. That's right. But you know, a lot of times, Marty, people say, well, I talk to the Lord. I love the Lord. He's a really close friend of mine. But they really don't pray very often. Uh, what about witnessing and telling others about God? That's important too, Marty. That helps us to grow in our faith by telling others about Jesus Christ. When I got over there, I noticed that some of the kids were kind of giggling and laughing, you know. And I wondered why they were doing that. Well, why were they doing it? Well, they said, Marty, come over here and take a look at our pictures. So I walked on over there, and I took a look. And do you know what it was? What was it, Marty? Well, it was in Arizona, I'll tell you that right now. Ron, they were looking at some dirty pictures, and they wanted me to look, too. Well, Marty, what did you do? Well, I said, look, guys, I like you a lot, and I want to play with you. But I can't look at those pictures. I just can't do it. Well, what did they say, Marty? They said, oh, Marty, come on. Your parents are in the house. No one will see. Well, what did you say? I said, that may be true, but I know someone who will see, and that's God. That's right, Marty. You know, that kind of reminds me of a, a verse I'm thinking of in the Bible that's found in 2 Timothy 2.22. And it says that you should run away from anything that will give you evil thoughts. And as your companions, you should have friends who have pure and clean thoughts and will only give you good ideas. Well, you know what I decided to do? What's that, Marty? I decided to turn around and go right back home. Well, Marty, I'm real proud of you for that. And some of the kids were kind of laughing at me, too. Well, that's okay, Marty. I think they will respect you for your opinion. And, you know, I'm glad you weren't wishy-washy. I'm glad you remained firm in your belief that looking at those kind of things is wrong. Federal marshals arrested a Largo man for possessing child pornography and conspiracy, uh, conspiring to kidnap a child. They say he was a puppeteer who performed for children in the Bay Area. News Channel H. Alana Fernandez has been following this story for us. She is joining us live tonight from Pinellas County. Well, Keith, 57-year-old Ron Brown is here in the Pinellas County Jail tonight. Federal investigators say it was his gruesome and very graphic online chats with the known child pornography offender that led them to him. He made his living entertaining kids at schools and birthday parties. But tonight, he's behind bars, accused of serious crimes against children. Federal agents arrested 57-year-old Ronald Brown at his Largo home last week on charges of conspiring to kidnap a child and having child pornography. Day, Neighbor Stacy Gohan this, watched the raid across the street. They literally came in here with over 20 cars. They had seven guys going to get him. 
you know, bulletproof vests and rifles, and you're kind of like, wow, what's going on? It wasn't just a standard come and check on them, get them, and walk out with them thing. Brown was a local puppeteer. His website says he performs at school events and birthday parties. According to the arrest affidavit, Brown came to their attention during an investigation into a child pornography case in Kansas. The document includes pages of graphic online chats with Brown about kidnapping, sexually abusing, and eating children. They are too disturbing for us to share with you. Brown claimed these were fantasies, but he would never hurt anyone. Neighbor Mark Lee isn't surprised by the arrest. He says he told his 11-year-old granddaughter to stay away from Brown. He had uh, an error as it was about him that you could just feel wasn't right. Right off the bat, why do you want to talk to an 11-year-old kid? Investigators found images of dead children and children being sexually abused on Brown's computer in his home. and eating children and eating children and eating children